It's a simple question that I want to put up to people. Right, who do you think is more attractive? UK black girls or American black girls? Who do you think is more attractive? That's probably the most difficult question that I had to meditate on, honestly. Like, literally. I mean, UK black women or black girls are similar, obviously, aesthetically to US uh, black women. But we've, we've got certain fundamental differences. So when I mean fundamental differences, I mean differences in culture although these are superficial differences but in some cases in 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 a lot of cases where things are so similar the little superficial differences matter so a lot of black uk girls are similar again just like i mentioned with regards to aesthetic there's practically not much of a difference in terms of how they look the attractiveness I mean, black women across the board, regardless of ethnic group, are the top tier race of women. But then if you want to pick between the top tiers, like the UK black women, for example, or you want to pick the US black women, how do you finally determine who to go for? So it purely goes down to culture. And just like I've mentioned, again, the cultures are almost virtually identical. So the differences are superficial. But these superficial differences matter when everything is identical. So I think the US black women, in my opinion, would take the win, not going to lie, in terms of culture. Because I think one of the issues that we have in Britain is that most of us, we're not as ethnically homogenous as UK black, uh, US black women. So with, with a lot of us people from the UK... We come from different countries, so our families come from different countries. Our family comes from the Caribbean. Others, our families come from Africa, right? Just in the Caribbean, there's different cultures. And then in Africa, there's 54 countries, there's different cultures. So different people conduct themselves differently from a cultural standpoint. Whereas the vast majority of African Americans are more culturally, ethnically homogenous. So based on that, African American women or black women in America take the W for that one, not gonna lie. So again, I need to make myself clear in with regards to looks, there's no difference for the most part. These are just black queens regardless of ethnic origin. Again, the attractiveness, black women take the black US women take the attractiveness scale primarily because of culture more than anything else. Again, because of like the ethnic homogeneity of black people in America over black people in the UK largely because of the fact that we come from different cultures so we're not as homogenous as they are so because of that culture there's a thing or two that the black American women bring to relationships that black UK women just don't bring into relationships I mean dying bro they, they god there's something about a black American accent from a woman that is just a ton I'm not gonna lie I mean especially the ones that come from the south of the US I don't know it's across the whole country but especially the south like the way they speak all right love you're all right I don't know how to do the accent but you know what I mean and then you compare that to UK black women I mean most of us have different accents you got black people in the north of England south of England so because of that difference, it just kind of makes our women a little bit rougher or ugly, should I say. But again, it obviously, general, I'm only speaking generally, uh, to be honest. But when it comes to accent, when it comes to our culture, black American women definitely take the W for that one, to be fair. And aesthetically, there's not much of a, there's not much of a difference because at the end of the day, we're talking about black women anyways, regardless of cultural uh, differences. Uh, to be fair, so I think, I think U.S. black women are fundamentally the more attractive uh, groups of uh, black women 
because again, it's important to understand that black women in the US, or especially African American women, have their own cultures. Right, so it's important to separate race from ethnicity, and ethnically, African American women or African Americans have their own culture. And it's and basically what I'm trying to say is that if you compare all groups of black people, regardless of where we come from, right, African American women would be top tier in terms of attractiveness followed by black African women born in Africa then black UK women then I don't know Portuguese black women are alright too not gonna lie they're decent the last on the fucking list would be French black women god damn those motherfuckers are fucking rough (laughs) not gonna lie but anyways that's that's really it to be honest so if you're ever gonna if you're looking for your significant other <clears throat> go to America if you're looking for that black queen go to America especially go down south because what I notice with a lot of black uh people that live in America is that the ones that live in the south tend to be a little bit more traditional and cultural but if you go to places like California for example the women tend to be incre- incredibly ratchet and that's the problem. But places like the South, for example, where the black people are traditional, they've got cultures, they've got history, and, and all these different things. So they go to church every Sunday. These are the places that you want to go to find yourself the right wife, to find yourself you're that black queen, to be fair. But I'm not saying that you can't find the right kind of black women in New York and California. To be fair, you could easily. But it's just that these places are so much more liberal and I don't have an issue with liberalism because I technically see myself as somebody who's more progressive. But uh, sometimes you have to make the decision. If you're trying to marry a woman, are you looking to couple up with a woman who's more, I wouldn't say liberal, but a woman who's more just sexually liberated or a woman who's more covered up, a woman who's more traditional and conservative? For most men, I can't can't speak for all men, but for the vast majority of men, we prefer women that are traditional, women that are a little bit more conservative about their bodies than that. So go dating black women from the South, in my opinion, at least I think it's the right, it would be the right decision over black women in places like California or New York where things are more sort of like liberated or liberal basically where the women are more competitive or the women have got the mindset of I don't need a man I don't you know that sort of like mindset where they don't need a man basically feminism places where feminism must take take a thought basically on 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 society so so definitely like it's all about your choices at the end of the day but regardless black american women are sort of like number one on the list followed by black African women, again, because of tradition and culture. So again, largely I'm saying this is primarily not based in aesthetics, but this is largely based in looks more than anything, culture more than anything else, right? So black American culture first, which then shapes the level of attractiveness of the women, right? Because we need to create the distinction. And again, because we can't create a distinction based on looks, because we're all black at the end of the day. So what really separates us fundamentally might be the superficial aspects of our cultures. And these little superficial aspects is what separates us, is what determines our scales or scale of attractiveness. And within that scale of attractiveness, ladies and gents, I'm telling you that black American women are number one, black African women, then black UK women of African origin so black UK women of African origin followed by black Portuguese then black British women of Caribbean origin then the final groups of black women it would be French black women right just like I've mentioned those motherfuckers are ghetto as shit anyways I don't want to disrespect French people but it's not looking good for those <laughs> ones there it's rough down there to be fair and if I was to ask you to put down your perspective in the comment sections on who are the most attractive groups of women, what would you say? Because somebody might categorically look at this list and they might disagree with it. Somebody might say, actually, no, this is absolutely incorrect. The most attractive groups of women might be 
potentially black African women, to be fair, and I can see why some people might make that argument, to be fair, because Africa is a continent, right? Within that continent, again, similar to the US, there's similar to the UK, excuse me, there's a lot of diversity in culture. So you might go to certain countries where people are just more fucking dickheads, right? And then you might go to another country where people are just so much more polite and friendly. So, yeah, so it's just all down to perspectives, to be fair. Now, this is all subjective. This is my subjective uh, perspective on 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 our, our basically the my my perspective on attractiveness within the confines of the black community. Yeah, that's what it is to be honest, but I can see why somebody might pick other other groups of ethnicities as being the most attractive and others as being the least attractive. But I've just got US black women as being the most attractive anyway, so ladies and gentlemen. But make sure you smash the like button down below as well. And um obviously I'm glad that you are here. I am glad that you've taken the time to listen to this. Make sure you smash the like button and also comment and subscribe. I'll see you later.